i'm hunter x and today we set up auto cobblestone extraction and gravel milling with that being said let's get into today's episode in the last episode we got ourselves established in this wonderful barren wasteland of a super flat world and yeah we went ahead and set up a water wheel or a few water wheels that is and yeah i've been busy in between episodes you may notice i have two lava buckets in my inventory and they're not the wooden ones right they are the iron ones thankfully it doesn't seem like there isn't you know too many changes in the mod pack so you know things are pretty simple to make so yeah i'm ahead and found two more blacksmiths to go ahead and get me some lava buckets now that is because i want to go ahead and make a iron farm from easy villagers this is gonna be the easiest way for me to go ahead and make us some iron essentially for free right now i'm not entirely sure how this works but i'm gonna go ahead and check it out with you guys so let me go ahead and do that we're gonna need some glass panes and we're also gonna need some cobblestone now i did place down our extractor as well I do want to see if I can get that up and running today, potentially. Even if I do have to move our stuff, that will be just fine, right? Let's go ahead and start cooking up that cobblestone and get ourselves some stone, and we'll be right back. With the stone collected here, we'll go ahead and try and make this iron farm from easy villagers. Let's go ahead and place this bad boy down. I assume I gotta place the like little villager dudes in here or something. Yeah, so if I do that, let me put these guys in there. So wait, does it only need one? I think it only needs one of them to work. I wonder how this works. So I guess now that that guy's in there, I wonder if I'm gonna get iron. Do we have any sort of time in a bottle or time torch? That is a good question. As far as I know, I do not see any sort of, whatchamacallit, maybe a temporal pouch. Yeah, I'm not seeing any sort of like tick accelerator of any kind. Yeah, not every mod pack is gonna have the fun bits or the, you know, tick accelerate bits or whatever the case may be. The mod pack dev has, uh, oh no, does it make noise oh no please please don't tell me you make noise because that is going to be really annoying okay so it does make noise unless if that's coming from these guys here but i doubt the zombie noise is coming from the villager however we do need to come over here and try and set this sifter up so if i look at the sifter for a moment here we do have the brass sifter as well which i assume we're gonna need to get better stuff potentially maybe later on however we do need to look at the sifter here because i want to start looking at getting some of this stuff here so the yellow garment the raw amethyst and stuff like that but that requires another right mesh so we should probably look at the meshes as well so we have a few meshes here string mesh andesite mesh zinc brass a custom mesh that doesn't have a recipe so that's probably not good yeah i assume we're gonna want the iron mesh or something i don't know if i can put that in the create sifter it doesn't look like it goes in the create sifter it's from mine colonies so i think our best sifter mesh is going to be from brass even though like there's clearly like a netherite mesh but i don't see that that's from infinite horizons and it does look like it can go into the sifter from create okay so the iron mesh with basalt gravel will give us all these things i assume these are all from greg tech stuff yeah okay so i assume we're gonna oh my god look at all this stuff wow you get a lot of stuff from that but it's endstone gravel okay i wonder what other mods we have okay let's try and get this to work so let me grab this lava bucket really quickly and let me also grab a second bucket now we don't have infinite lava so we do need to be very careful on how we deal with this so if i come over here uh we can totally make it with the blaze burner but again we don't have the blaze burner right now so that is gonna have to be we're just gonna have to be really careful with oh what's happening oh a, a golem spawned it's dying wow that took a really long time and it gave us iron and it also gave us poppies beautiful love to see it we're gonna go ahead and i guess put this down okay grab our shafts perfect let's come over here and start pulling out from here like so and i guess guess for the sifter we need some sort of vertical gearbox which means we're gonna need gearboxes so gearboxes are hopefully simple enough to make so gearboxes are just gonna require some cogwheels i do need some 
framed planks that's fine planky boys easy enough and then your cog wheels plus your shafts will give you what we need let's i guess start with 16 is fine and then we need four andesite alloy casings which again is super simple all we got to do is place down four logs like so and then go ahead and grab our andesite alloy and right click oh no wait, we need to go ahead and strip them first so that means we need an axe to go ahead and strip them and the way that we strip them is right clicking with an axe and then going ahead and using our andesite alloy and right clicking and that should give us the andesite alloy casings okay so i want to go ahead and convert this into gear boxes like so and then convert the uh, verticals into or the gear boxes into verticals and then i should in theory be able to go ahead and place this like this but you know what though i kind of want side rotation for this as well and there's a reason why i want side rotation and that is because the sifter i want to be able to pull out of using the hopper method because uh, we don't have access to logistical transporters or any easy way to go ahead and move items around right now. There isn't any sort of like laser IO. As far as I can tell, there's no pipes. The only pipes that I know for a fact that we have, again, are the logistical transporters, which we can't make right now because we need steel. Also basic control circuits, which again, we can't make because again, we don't have the things to make it. So it is what it is, right? Let's go ahead and take ourselves some of these shafts real quick and then convert them back into gears. I didn't want my recipe book, excuse you. Go ahead and turn these into gears like so, and then do maybe something like this. I think this might be a little too slow, so I might need to like upgrade it a little bit, just oh, like a tad bit, nothing crazy, right? I mean, it's spinning, but I think we should go ahead and make a transmission. And to do that, it's very simple to do. All we have to do is take some of our smaller cogs and we also need big cog wheels as well so some of these big boys which i mean oh that's gonna be rough but that's okay four big cog wheels should be plenty and i think i can even push this back one and this should be fine if i do this and then we grab our big cog wheel or our little ones like so and do something like this this and this this let's see maybe this and that should be good to go. And then now we take the, again, vertical gearbox like so, place it on the front like so. And then I do need a little bit more of the baby coggy wheels. That's fine. Let's go ahead and get more of those baby cog wheels nice and set up for us. Okay, maybe not that many. Uh, 16 is good. And then I might do eight more of the big ones. Yeah, eight more of the big ones sounds like a good idea. And then what we'll do is we'll take our sifter like so. Did I already place it down? I haven't. Where did I put it? Did I lose it? Oh, no, it's right here. Perfect. And then what we'll do is we'll place down ourselves a cogwheel like so. And that should be relatively simple. Go ahead and place this like so. And I should be able to go ahead and make a stepping stone up to that. I guess I can move it over here. And that's not going to be terrible for us. So I can like move Move it like back here so if i put the piece of cobblestone like here where is the uh cable stone i need the cable stone give me the cable stone and then i take this put this here i guess put the extractor facing this way no it needs to be facing the other way this way no excuse you what are you doing it's very much not like there we go and i guess i can put a vertical gearbox I actually need two vertical gearboxes because I can put one here and then another one there. And then this should get that spinning. Oh, does it only break the front? Oh, dude, that's so annoying. If that's the case, it might only break the front block. You would think it would break the bottom, not the front. That's such a weird. Mm. Okay. I don't know how I'm going to fix this. How do I fix this so it works? I figured out how it works. Okay. So we totally are doing this wrong. So I need to set it up in a way. So we're going to go ahead and put the extruder down here facing the right direction. So it's getting rotation like so. Okay. It's still not getting rotation. There it is. Place this down uh, and then place this down like so. Okay. Hold on. I'm going to make sure that I place it down in the right direction here. So you, you get placed down and then what I need to do is basically this water lava and now it should be producing cobblestone like so which then 
I guess. Ooh, here's a good question, actually. Can you push into a hopper? That's a really solid question. Also, I would like to make some functional drawers if that's possible. I don't know if I can it auto output to this because that would be freaking amazing if it can auto output to this. But I have my doubts. I doubt it's going to auto output. Do you? Uh, that's not where I wanted that to go, sir. I wanted it to go in front. So that's the worm notebook. OK, so that's your answer. It doesn't do it doesn't auto output. OK, so here's my next question then. Oh, God. Uh, how am I going to do this without spilling stuff everywhere? That's not ideal. Hold on. Take this out. I don't want to make a mess. Do you work? You do work. <gasps> yes. I love you forever. Now that we have that. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. My bad. Now that we have cobblestone being automatically generated, I want to take a look at the meshes from this mod here. So at infinite horizons, there's a few things that look like this mod adds here. It looks like a few things from thermal. It looks like, let's see. I don't know what these catalysts are for. Oh, summoning altar from altar rituals outputs six dolphins okay what does that even mean but uh i guess what we should do potentially is look at the iron mesh so the iron mesh will give us with gravel where is the gravel gravel will give us iron copper raw gold zinc raw okay so the basic materials and things okay but how do we get the netherite mesh? That's a really good question. Also, none of these meshes have recipes. Do the other meshes have recipes? Okay, they do. These ones do have recipes. And it looks like this is how we get netherrack or netherite scrap. Okay, so I'm, I have a feeling that not everything is implemented right this second. So there's going to be like future updates where things are going to slowly get implemented and, and whatnot. So I'm not going to, you know, go too crazy right now. So there we go. We'll go ahead and get this. I guess one of the problems is going to be, though, is getting gravel. And I guess that could be remedied by the fact that we can use like a, a, a millstone to throw cobblestone in, which we're getting cobblestone automatically now. You know, this vertical gearbox right here, actually, I might be able to like shaft or something. Where is the gearbox? It's right here, I think. Yeah, I might be able to like shaft down or something and then gearbox another vertical ah oh, but the problem is like we have no way to break bedrock and or way to fly so this would just be a really bad actually you know this might actually be able to work do i have a millstone by any chance i think i did make the millstone this might be able to work in a semi weird in twisted sick way honestly this might be able to work so millstone okay we have a lot of iron art in our inventory also shift middle clicking is not sorting my inventory even though like the keybind says it does but yeah I digress. Uh, nope, wrong way. And also wrong one. So if I take this and this and then put this here and then we get another hopper to hopper into there and then like weirdly enough, like do some like weird monka sketch stuff, we can probably get it to work just the way that we want it to uh to work. So if I do that, okay, it's just my freaking thing going absolutely crazy again. Uh, I'm going to need way more iron than that, buddy. There we go. Get me two hoppers and probably another drawer, if I guess. Now, that's not that fast. Keep in mind, right? This cobblestone generator is not that fast, but I'm now automating that. So if I just, I guess, just go around this way and we put another drawer like right here, down here. Like right here we should in theory be able to automate gravel in a really uh tight and compact space there we go make a chest make one of these and then make one of these i do not want that i want i want a functioning storage drawer please what that's so weird okay that's gonna be a problem <laughs> i totally don't see that foreseeing a, an auto crafting issue with that nope not at all totally it's not gonna bug out something in the, in the autocraft later and then we can just go ahead and cover all this up like so and it's like it's not even there and then we take this like so and we come over here into our sifter and we drop it wait that's not how that works how does this work hopper into it or something like i i put the mesh inside didn't i not 
uh let's go ahead and make another hopper maybe another chest as well we go ahead and get that bad boy uh filtering out for stuff i actually need another hopper hold on i'm being silly make me some more chests i need another chest okay so you i want you to hopper into this guy so hopper that that's not work. that's straight up not working like at all so that's interesting and then you okay so why aren't you working oh don't don't do that i'm pretty sure i put an andesite alloy mesh in there maybe i didn't i did so andesite mesh looking at andesite mesh which is now misbehaving because it's not letting me press you on it at all like what's going on with that bud and now it's not letting me see inside of it at all gotta love that for us and apparently string mesh does the exact same thing so i'm wondering if this is also gonna break oh, i shouldn't have mm, i should have killed that spider when i had the chance i do not have string i guess i could wait till night time to go ahead and get string it has come to my attention that i can also use lax and or a few of these things here like cotton jute knef uh sizzle and i think if i just like roam around here for a second we might be able to find like one of these crops maybe just hanging about hopefully i mean i have my doubts but you know what we gotta stay positive got to stay absolutely positive but i'm not seeing what i need which is not ideal this guy is absolutely destroying dudes over here let's go oh you no 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 do not blow up my loot i need that string oh god it's, it's dangerous out here man it's really dangerous out here uh mm, get rid of crap what do i don't need um twigs sure get rid of the twigs i don't need the twigs ah the skeleton in the trees ah you twat go away okay so now it's daytime hello i i see you bud i see you why isn't this uh this this stupid guy helping me hello no oh god help me help me oh god oh god i found a hole dude this inferium is also helping me as well i will take that i need the string though i need the string because i want to make a string mesh and hopefully this one will work i'm praging really praging here okay this one works oh yeah look at it oh yeah oh yeah give me all the things in the meantime while that was running while i was running around getting absolutely my face destroyed by monsters the sifter or whatever was absolutely cleaning up for us i need to be careful running into the trees here i'm gonna get absolutely caught out by like a freaking creeper or something absolutely get my face like destroyed all right how much iron do we got in here not not that much but you know what it's passive iron so you know what i'll take it you know what actually too i want to try something i want to make inferium seeds because inferium seeds will be really good do i have eight inferium by any chance do I, I have 11 beautiful do i have wheat seeds i do beautiful okay that means we can go ahead and start a basic run-of-the-mill inferium farm and i want to check to see if i can go ahead and twerk for these bad boys because if it's like the mythic block series dude the mythic block series was so crazy with uh the whole like seeds and everything that was yeah being able to like run and twerk and do all that stuff with, with the seeds this guy is dancing on top of our iron farm yeah i'm farming ya. you you like that i guess it, i guess he really likes it i'm Oh, he stopped dancing. I guess he really didn't like the fact that I was farming him, huh? Let me grab. Do I have water? I do have infinite water just over here. Mm-hmm. There we go. I should be able to start farming just like this. Place that down. And then we just, I guess, set up like a normal vanilla Minecraft farm, right? It shouldn't be too bad. So something like this. Why is there bats? Why, why did Mojang have to make bats? Okay, let's be real. What is the purpose of bats? What do they what what do they bring to Minecraft? What do they bring to the table? I say get rid of them. They're really annoying. One deal with and two, just just like mm. anyways, I digress. Come over here and plant down our very first Inferium seed. Boom. Taking action. Uh, let's see so i guess we don't have that but do we have the fart mod where we can fart fertilize let's see i'm gonna keep holding shift here for a couple of minutes and see if we have that mod i doubt we do but yeah it's not looking like we do unfortunately that's unfortunate but you know what it is what it is and you know what dude that one stack of stuff got us so much stuff 
also can i can i cook this and then potentially so 10 seconds five seconds that's whatever uh is this the guy that's gonna allow me to make the goggles i want to know if i can make the goggles the revealing i'm not revealing sorry the um uh, what are they called these guys the engineers goggles i would really like the engineers goggles but i'm hoping it doesn't require brass no it just needs gold sheets which we can actually make with the greg tech hammer i'm down for that right now go ahead and get that cooked up and then i guess grab our greg tech hammer i wonder if we have a workbench that allows us to keep the which i'm gonna call it the items in the workbench yeah yeah keep scaring my villagers keep doing that good job really good job i only need one right i swear to god if i need actually no, i need two to make one right whoa it just made a machine noise whoa that was weird that was trippy uh-huh so we just need actually one string perfect and now i can go ahead and plop these on so if you don't know what the engineer's goggles do really cool thing it gives you a hud so you can see how much stress units each one of your water wheels is generating so we have 256 stress units times however many water wheels we have that will give us that many stress units that we can go ahead and use to go ahead and build weird messy contraptions like this for example right and it's super fun it creates a really unique and nifty mod so if i want to go ahead and continue here we're gonna go ahead and need to make a mechanical press which shouldn't be difficult i do really wish we did have that feature where we can go ahead and like look at the recipes directly from any eye but that's not a thing right now so and also why is it not showing me the normal press here weird i've had that issue too in the last episode where it's not showing me the andesite alloy version of it which is strangely weird right go ahead and grab i guess a you know what we'll grab like 16 of these right because we're going to be using them quite a bit so i think making a fair few will be called for here i think so go ahead and grab that let's go ahead and strip this up like so can i double strip it no you can't double strip it that is what she said grab that and i guess just quickly make a bunch of andesite alloy casings we'll eventually automate it but for right now this is just the way that the uh the game goes right and i want the basic mechanical press wow a block of iron that's so expensive in my world of infinite iron like what there we go a press is now done the encased fan which is going to require some cool stuff so encased fans we're going to need some propellers again more iron blocks or iron plates you know what <sighs> i'm just gonna say you know what plop that like that and then i guess i'm gonna need to either place a block down or we could put a depot down how bad are depots to make? Let's see. Let's take a look at depots. If I remember correctly, looking at the comment that the dev left, they didn't change much. So thankfully, this might be easy. Uh, depot. That's how you spell it. The depot. There we go. Hopefully, this will work. And then we'll go ahead and place this down like so. We're working on the encased fan. We need four propellers. So we need four iron sheets. If I go ahead and place this down like so, it should start banging it out real fast. Uh, yeah. If you um <clears throat> place the depot in the right block, that um that will ensure help. If you place it under the right block, there we go. We're going ahead and doing things the right way. We're bonking it, bonk bonk. Let's go ahead and make the propeller. The propeller is going to require just one of those. That's really simple. And again, the end is like casing with the uh shaft, and that should be fine do i have a way is there a way to access this from this side not really but there's a way to do that though i mean it's jank enough i'll give you that it's super jank and i love it so we go ahead and grab ourselves some trap doors i don't have enough wood for this grab ourselves some more trap doors we're gonna need a ton more trap doors like so and then i need another bucket of water love making messes though this is great i'm gonna take this place this nope that's facing the wrong direction i need to be facing the other direction so i need to be facing this way i need you to be facing this way and i guess put that there i don't know if that's gonna allow me to wash doing that so i think i have to do this i think that's how that works and then let's go ahead and put i guess some of this stuff away oh god it's nighttime run away okay so i think what we're gonna have to go ahead and do very quickly is we're gonna go ahead and set up a few things we're gonna go ahead and set up the uh 
I'm gonna go ahead and get some dust actually before we do anything uh do we have I guess yeah we do have some sand I think we need to pickaxe this to turn it into dust yes okay let's go ahead and turn this into dust I don't want to make too much into dust and then I should be able to take this right and I wonder if I can actually do this make this work this way I doubt I'm gonna be able to get it to work this way but we can always try it doesn't look like it's working oh I don't want it to move too far forward though do that ah I didn't want to pick it up either crap all right that should not be good oh I'm dumb duh we can depot it I forgot the depot works that way I, I don't know why I forgot that but that's a totally feature that we can go ahead and use so if i go ahead and do that i'm pretty sure washing dust will give us the opportunity to get some clay dust block can be sifted in a copper mesh for redstone that's about it just redstone wait is it really just that did i mess up is it supposed to be like sand or something i can always just try sand i'm pretty sure i thought i saw one of these have had to be washed so if i look at sand there should be a so haunting will give you that lava will give you that washing will give you a 25 percent chance to get clay fair enough okay and then this clay i think will get processed into the next chapter or what the next whatever the case may be whether we do the um yeah what are you missing here the blaze burner quest which quest which we haven't even done yet okay fair enough i would like to get some obsidian but i don't know how we're gonna do that okay so great sifter we've already done and it does look like i have to use the andesite oh andesite gravel how do i get andesite gravel that doesn't look like it has a um a recipe andesite gravel yeah it looks like that's a thing but i'm not sure how to get it also it doesn't look like it according to jei it doesn't have a recipe which is interesting i will say that that is a very very interesting also if i want more i can totally just sift some more stuff here and that's gonna give us way more material iron we don't really need at the moment uranium the osmium which is pretty poggers flint we don't need lapis is okay emeralds are okay but i think these are your like main like quests right that you have to work on i guess getting the blaze burner is going to be interesting so how do i get obsidian that's another question obsidian obsidian is obtained by aha washing magma blocks magma blocks could be obtained via stone and fire essence uh magma cream crushing lava buckets interesting i'm gonna be honest here if i just go like looting like the villages and like the blacksmiths and stuff i could probably get the uh magma blocks that i need to go ahead and um make obsidian but considering how before the uh i started recording for the episode i spent a good like hour looking for a blacksmith like blacksmiths are super rare to find yeah you can kind of see one of these houses i swear yeah this brick house right here has a free magma block right here and also a skillet too okay so i think these farmer delights houses are pretty pretty op right if we can find uh more of them in other villages that would be um yeah really just super duper op oh unfortunately guys it is time to wrap up today's episode of infinite horizons mod super flat survival with that being said if you guys did enjoy today's episode please do me a huge favor smash that like button smash that subscribe button ding down that notification bell and become a part of the hundred tribe as always guys and i love you i'm gonna leave you till next time bye bye